All right, let's continue looking at this ministry that Pope Francis is endorsing that's run by James Martin. Now, here is the website outreach. Okay, so let's just take a quick look-see here. Here is 30 LGBTQ religious saints. I don't know about that. Okay, whatever. Joan of Arc, give me a break. Uh, the implications of her cross-dressing gets explored in depth. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing, y'all. Uh, Joan of Arc wasn't cross-dressing. All right, Joan of Arc was fighting a war. And in war, you have to ride horses, so there's pants. But also, if you're a woman... And you get captured, sadly, during that time period, you're going to get raped. And Joan of Arc, in her testimony, says, I'm wearing pants because I don't want to get raped. So it's not, this is so dishonest. Uh, the Black Madonna? What? It's the patron saint of lesbians. It's a combination of Black Madonna and the Haitian goddess voodoo? No. No. That's fake news. This is just sacrilegious blasphemy. See, this is what James Martin is promoting. All right, James Martin is promoting this nonsense. St. John of the Cross. The writings have made him an important figure to modern LGBT people of faith, as noted in Terrence Weldon's Queer Spirituality. Oh, John, they always got to go, John. John's my patron saint, my confirmation saint. Why? They say he was gay because at the Last Supper, he had his head on the chest of Jesus. Why that got to be gay? Reverend Nancy Wilson even suggests that Lazarus' sister, Mary and Martha, may have actually been lesbian lovers while Jesus and Lazarus lived together as male. No, come on. Blasphemy. Sacrilege. This is James Martin linking this trash. I'm done. Oh, they got junk. I'm done. Okay, so this article that I just went through was featured right here, right, on the outreach ministry. And Francis is endorsing the outreach ministry, as you can see here. 